Hello. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Transufoma Unboxed. As always, these videos are unscripted and unrehearsed. Today's toy that I'm going to be breaking open is something a little bit different from the past few times. Not something I really buy quite often. Um, essentially, I bought it at Target um, when I first saw it. It was kind of unique. Um, it's not really a thing that I look for or an aisle I normally go down. But for this um, toy, per se, um, I had to have it at that time just because of the sheer, you know, comparison between the, the items and the packaging. So without further ado, the item that I'm going to open today is Monster Jam Creatures, Grave Digger. When I was younger, I used to like Grave Digger, not because it was a big old monster truck um, with green and whatever. It was the simple design. Well, I shouldn't say simple, but it was the design on the actual truck itself. It looked like a cover to a record that I had and all the movies that I were that I was into at that time was horror and science fiction and so on. So um, it was just creepy and, and kind of cool. So I was into that when I was a kid. Uh, as I said, I bought this figure at Target because I figured even if I give away that truck to some fan of Gravedigger, I'll still have this somewhat figure um, on my shelves. So... Um, as you can see, I'm going to turn it around. There's really no other figure selection. It just shows a crazy skeleton grave crawling type thing there. Um, a little bit of a info about Grave Digger, I guess. Um, the scale. The fact that it's true metal, quote unquote, and it's authentic. There's a few more that I did spot on the shelves since I did buy this. Um, a few more, you know, monster jam creatures. There's a shark. There is a, a bull. Uh, there's a giant robot with a cape. And they all came with different paint schemes, repaints and stuff. So um, I think there was at least one other repaint of, of Grave Digger or two other repaints. But I figured the neon green was the one that I wanted to get. So as I said before, it's not something I would normally get. I'm not really into Hot Wheels. I'm not really into, you know, Matchbox cars too much unless they're based off of something that I'm into. But, um, so here we go. I'm going to open it up. I don't need a tool for this one, as you can see, because it's basically just a buster pack. And there goes... The backdrop, as you can see, it is not scripted. So, here you go, just a kind of a clamshell situation. The truck just comes right out. It has shocks, I guess. Um, neon green and pink. Kind of a cool color. Looks like a bug. I guess that was that's so it can roll over cars. Uh, you can see the paint scheme is pretty cool. I always thought Gravedigger had some cool designs on this truck. It is, in fact, metal. But that's not the point of this. So let's wheel that off. So here we go. Gravedigger. As you can see, well, first I'm just going to rip, literally rip him straight out of the packaging. Time for all this junk. Well, that's unfortunate. There's actually a portion of his cloak which is interwoven with the. As you can see, look at that. Does that mean I have to take him un totally undone? Probably. So. There. What 
didn't have to rip that hole. That's kind of weird. All right, so this is the very first time I've I've opened any one of these Monster Jam Creatures figures. Um, again, this is the only one I have. But let's see what his articulation's like. So his head moves left and right. Pretty good. Arms go up and down. Oh, he has an actual... Huh. That's kind of neat. And no wrist movement. I didn't really expect wrist movement. But he does have shoulders. He does have whatever. This is rubber, which you can hear. Legs go up and down. No ankle twist. I don't know if you can see that speckled business right there. That's kind of neat. Um, this doesn't really come off. It's kind of welded to his back. It does have some weird stuff going on there. And no waist. So, as a figure, I'm going to kind of pan down on this camera here, so bear with me as I adjust. As a figure, he is basic. Uh, he does look like he can hold some stuff. He's got a fist, so he can definitely punch out any other figures. His head turns around, so you can actually see where he's pointing. His face is painted pretty good. I mean, f green flames on his shoulders, rubber cape. So I'm going to give you a kind of... Um, small comparison on the actual size of this figure which you could probably tell already from the size of the um monster truck that he came with but just so you get a better idea of the actual height bringing my friend hammerhead from the power of the force line in the 90s like 94 96 so you can see, a little bit taller than that figure. And you can literally punch him right in the face. So that is the figure. I'm going to actually see if he can hold this, because that would be a interesting thing. Yeah, he can hold it. I don't know. My opinion on the figures with just this much articulation, it's not too bad. I mean, definitely a throwback to when we didn't have double-jointed elbows on figures or super dynamic poses that have ball joints on everything. Still gets the point across. So that's that. Well, there's my unboxing of Monster Jam creatures grave digger and i don't think i'll be getting any more of these figures i just don't see the value in them i don't see the fact that they're i don't know 10 or 12 bucks maybe a little bit more um maybe if they sold this figure for about seven bucks with maybe some knee articulation or an accessory of some sort I would bite, but with the car, not so much. I mean, he can't even ride the car like a skateboard. What the heck? So, I appreciate you watching and tuning in. Um, I will have another video up, as always. Thank you for tolerating me for this 10 minutes, or a little bit over 9 minutes. Um, until the next time.